Hello everybody, my name is Ifo Labi and this is another video. So today we're about to do a fried chicken sandwich. On my Instagram stories, once again, I put up a poll on what recipe you'd want to see me try next. And most of you chose a chicken sandwich. So I was going to do a fried chicken sandwich. Now it's interesting I even put it there because the first time I actually tried like a chicken burger, I hated it. Cause for some strange reason, the chicken was bland. I decided that I am going to um, try and do a fried chicken sandwich and hopefully this time i like it better than all the previous times i have eaten it and also another inspiration for this video is a couple of weeks back my friend put up a picture of a very sad looking fried chicken sandwich on his instagram post and i thought i think i can do better than that can't i so i decided that this is a challenge i'm going to pick up it's not difficult to do but at the same time it involves a lot of steps so i'm going to take out this stuff and then to start off with a fried chicken, you need to first marinate it. So today, this recipe I saw, it was like kind of similar to what KFC does. So that's what I have here, buttermilk. So to this buttermilk, I'm going to add spices, put the chicken in it, and I'm putting it in the fridge for close to four to six hours, and then take it out, dredge, and fry. So as you can see, they are just these are like basic spices to add to the buttermilk, just to like get the flavors into the chicken. And also, I'm going to put up like this. I don't have, I didn't get buttermilk. So I did like a substitute for buttermilk using evaporated milk. So I'm, I think I'm going to post it up on a different video. I think I'll do a different video for like how to make buttermilk to do certain recipes like pancakes, chicken, cakes, all of those things. So I'll, I'll, that'll be a separate video. So wait on it. Two teaspoons of sea salt. I think this has been my favorite discovery. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of chili powder. So here's the thing, I really like a lot of kick in my food. Be it chicken, jollof, whatever it is, it has to have pepper so that I feel like I'm, I can taste it. I don't know, I think that right now I've become very sensitive, very, my tongue has become overly adapted to pepper, so I have to always kick it up a notch. So for this, I'm going to do three tablespoons of chili powder and then we are going to like whisk it all together. So we're going to add the chicken. Now, when I was asking about this recipe, someone told me that chicken thigh and chicken breast have very distinct flavors because chicken breast is kind of like white meat and there's no bone in it so it doesn't have that chicken thing to it i don't know if i'm saying it right but yeah that's what the person said that's what i got from what the person said okay don't judge me one so here's the chicken it's going to go inside the fridge for four to six hours Here is the spicy fried chicken. You can't do a chicken sandwich without the bread. So here is bread that I did by myself. We are going to assemble. Avengers! Assemble. This. Here. The fried chicken sandwich. This sandwich is quite messy, so this is my advice to you. Free advice. If you are going to eat it, make sure you are alone, comfortable, where you can, you know, be free to eat it and enjoy it. Don't don't eat this on a first date, otherwise, you know, you will you feel very stiff and then you won't enjoy it as much so if you're going to eat this be alone free advice or be around people that you're not sure of solo solo dates solo by yourself eat the sandwich this is the end of this video this chicken sandwich video thank you so much for watching this video leave me in the comments below what recipe you'd want to see me try next my name is Ifalabi stay safe out there and I'll see you on my next video